lot of fiction is about memory and how you deal with memory. Um, and I mean, take grief, for example. To me, that's that's very much about how memory and imagination, um, uh, the proportions by which they kind of come together in 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 your mind. Um, and you know, this whole metaphor of the reef kind of works with that. You know, memory being the sort of skeleton of the reef, imagination being the sort of coral polyps that keep it keep it strong and alive. Uh, so they. In a sense, writing is an investigation of memory and trying to work out how that works. And in the case of the sand glass, um, Chip is trying to work out, you know, what is my memory? What is my mind? Is it the stories that I've heard? Uh, what is a life? Is it the stories we tell about a life? Um, and in that book, I kind of use that idea a little bit more to try and work out um, what a life is, really. Politics and my own writing. Um, yes, I think I think uh, I have to be a political writer, and I suppose the way it perhaps uh, was brought most uh, forcibly, I suppose, to me was when I was actually right from the beginning of my writing. Um, one of the one, if not the first uh, story that I had published. Um, in a magazine of some repute, um, was a story called The Storm Petrel. Uh, and it's in my first collection, uh, my first book, Monkfish Moon. Uh, and that story is set in London. Um, and I was writing that in 1983. And 1983, those of you who may have a notion of Sri Lankan modern history will know, in the 1983 was when, uh, when Sri Lanka really the, the beginnings of the what ended up as a civil war started in 1983 with the uh, with the riots and pogroms against the Tamils in Colombo particularly, and it was a story about a man who wanted to go back to Sri Lanka for you know it was it was if you like the the epilogue of the migrant story you know of the man who then decides to go back home and start a new life, and I realized that. You know, okay, stories aren't the most necessarily the most important thing in the world. You know, there were very serious things happening, but stories are important to me. It was my way of dealing with the world, and the world was changing before me, and I felt I had to, I had to do something in my writing with it as well. So that story, in the end, is, becomes quite a political story because. The events of July 1983 kind of invade into the story. Um, and I suppose that kind of framed the way my writing was going to be thereafter, really. Um, the most recent book, Prisoner of Paradise. So it is, it is the story of this young girl setting off from England um, in the early 1800s to Mauritius. Um, 1825, and this young man from Sri Lanka who comes as an interpreter to Mauritius. Um, and there is some historical basis uh, for all of that. But uh, it is then, I suppose, um, their engagement and their reconciliation or not of different views of the world, really, uh, and what they see. And she, of course, comes with. Uh, with all the baggage that comes that was around at that time, which was, I suppose, a very Orientalist picture of the world, a very romantic one. It was a time of the romantic poets. It was a time when you know the most, you know, the best sellers of the time were these exotic romances of princesses in India and Kashmir and so on. So she comes with all of that, um, and he kind of tries to play around with those ideas as well. Um, but I was very interested in how different people see, see the same world, I guess, uh, or don't see the same world. OK, the, <clears throat> the new book that will be out in 2014 is uh, Noontide Toll. Uh, it's a collection of stories, but uh, the stories are all connected and linked. Uh, so there is, I suppose, a novelistic element to it, because the stories are to all told by Vasantha, who's a van driver um, for hire in Sri Lanka. 
and they're set in post-war Sri Lanka. Uh, the war came to an end um, in 2009, and these are all stories after that. And these are stories which Vasantha tells of his journeys ferrying people, going up north to Jaffna, um, going to places where there have been serious big battles to do with the Civil War, and going south, um, going to tourist areas. Um, I mean, there is a narrative thread that runs through the book, which, you know, which is why I suppose it can be seen any way you want, I guess. Uh, which is, I suppose, him trying to come to some understanding um, of the past, really, which is what we've been talking about. Um, and with the, the past, which includes the war, very, in, a, in a very big way, whether that's something that should be forgotten um, and erased, uh, or as some people say, uh, forgotten so that those scars would, would heal somehow, or whether it's something that you need to confront and think about and actually learn from. Um, and it's, an, I mean, you know, that dilemma is there really in my other books as well. And I our lives are actually structured and dominated by stories and stories of history, stories of what the narrative of our times are or is, um, and I feel that uh, very soon there'll be other dominant narratives of, uh, of the past, particularly, um, and Vasantha's story would then get very diluted. Um, and so there is something quite pressing for me and urgent about the stories in the, in the new book. Mm -hmm.